Kansas is reporting a record number of unemployment claims. Many of them could be fraudulent, and it could be costing the state hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm Kelly Eckerman. 82,000 claims were filed in Kansas last week. That's nine times the amount of claims in Missouri. It's also higher than the number of claims in New York, California, and Texas. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener is digging into the situation. This weekend, the Kansas Department of Labor will take its entire unemployment system offline for security upgrades and admission of a serious fraud problem. We expect uh, that the number of fraudulent claims will plummet. Governor Laura uh, Kelly admitting we Wednesday that. a group of Republican lawmakers may be right. The majority of unemployment claims from the past couple of weeks could be from scammers. There has been a surge in the number of claims recently. Um, that mu very much could be related to uh, the uh, fraudulent claims. But so far, people who work in the Labor Department are not saying how many claims are scams. We asked the Kansas Department of Labor spokesman three times for that specific number today. He didn't answer specifically, only repeating a department talking point, saying the department's stopping 2,300 fraudulent claims a day. We're looking at close to 277 million potential in fraud. Earlier this we week, an outside that. expert testified before Kansas lawmakers the state could have lost hundreds of millions, a huge impact on state businesses having to replenish the state's unemployment trust fund. Not only do we have a, a looming problem today, but this is going to potentially haunt us if we can't find a way to really stem the tide here. But so far, no one with the Kansas Department of Labor has said exactly how much money is gone. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News. Kansas officials say unemployment claims will be delayed next week due to the upgrades. They also say people will have to change their security settings when filing new claims. California is going through a similar issue. Just today, an auditor revealed that the state paid out more than $10 billion in fraudulent jobless claims. 2020 was the worst year for economic growth since World War II. KMBC 9's Matt Pritchard looks at how the economy has struggled under the weight of the pandemic. Recovery efforts could be starting to slow down. Economists are unpacking the latest numbers and calling for immediate action. Striking economic numbers handed down on Thursday. We haven't seen anything like what we experienced in 2020 in decades upon decades. The U.S. economy shrank 3.5% in 2020, the most in 74 years, and unemployment claims remain elevated with 847,000 people filing last week alone. Now, economists say the recovery is moving forward, but the GDP numbers that were released this morning painted a, a really bleak picture from 2020. We had a bit of a slowdown in the in the recovery towards the tail end of 2020. That has Congress debating whether to provide another round of coronavirus relief. The Biden administration wants one point nine trillion dollars in added funds, leaving Democrats and Republicans divided. Should we do it? There are some who argue, no, we don't need any more stimulus. We've done all we need to do. I have to disagree with that conclusion. We need to be very careful, very careful, Madam President, about additional spending and appropriate only what is necessary. That disagreement extends to economists as well. Right now, as today's numbers show, things are really, really weak, and so the economy needs more support. We know that what we need is a reopening. In Washington, Matt Pritchard, KMBC 9 News. The chief economist at Moody's Analytics says 5 million jobs may never return, forcing the unemployed in industries like restaurants and bars to find work in other sectors. 